what we're going to be doing right now is um, import an NSXT on-prem networking configuration to VMware Cloud using the STDC import export fling. Uh, so what we'll get here is the source, which is an NSXT environment. As you can see, we've got some uh, distributed firewall rules that are written here. They refer to some sources and destinations, uh, some groups and some services. And if we go into our inventory, you can see the services created. Here we go, Python service, manual service, and we've got some groups that have been also created. So what we want to do uh, as part of the migration to VMware Cloud on AWS is to um, save that um, uh, this configuration, uh, export it, and then re-import it to VMware Cloud on AWS. So we've got an SDC here. You can see we've got uh, we've got nothing in the DFW configuration. It's just the default root. We don't have any groups. We only have the default services created. So let's go ahead and run the script. So first we're going to do an export. And right now we're just focusing on uh, the services, the groups, and the DFW rules. As you can see, the, what we've populated here is a number of JSON files that have um, the groups that uh, were previously configured, the services, and some of the distributed firewall configuration here, including um, the ones that uh, have been created by by uh, myself and uh, my, my, my colleagues, the so Borathon role. Um, and now we want to, we've saved them, and now we want to re-import them into VMware Cloud. We we'll just to use the keyword import. So we're just running a Python script, which is going to import the configuration from these files into VMware Cloud on AWS. And we've put our details about where we want it to, uh, to import into. So we're going to import into this organization and this SDDC called P Kramer Python. And we are going to go ahead and do the change. So we're importing the services. As you can see, the Borathon service has been added. Manual service has been added. And we import it as well. This DSCW role. And let's see if the import was successful. We'll refresh here. We can see Borathon service, manual service been added. Three groups were created, initially created on-prem have been added. And that's why we can see the security groups that have been exported successfully to VMware Cloud. And we're done. We have our on-prem vCenter on the left and our VMware Cloud on AWS vCenter on the right. Uh, the folder structure on the left, there's a CDA folder. Uh, that matches the CDA folder on the right, except that there's no app folder on the right. Uh, we have a CDB folder with subfolders on the left that doesn't have any match on the right-hand side. And then on the left, we also have a parent one folder with a child and two grandchildren. Uh, grandchild two is missing on the right, and child two is also missing on the right. Uh, so we are going to run the code and what will happen is whatever folder structure is on-prem on the left will be replicated into VM VMC on the right. It's not going to overwrite anything. It will add folders if they don't exist, but it is not destructive. All it does is create. Uh, so let's go ahead and run the code. So we're just going to run um, the export vCenter operation in this Python uh, script, and we're going to run it. And we'll take a few seconds here to execute. And then it finishes, and you can see it has dumped all of the folder paths from on-prem 
into a JSON file here. And then we're just going to turn it around and we're going to run the import. And you can see it's skipped ones that already exist and it creates the ones that do not exist. So if we go back to our vCenter and take a look and now the folder structures match. CDA uh, now has the app folder underneath it. CDB now exists over here in VMC. And then parent one, child, grandchild, and child two, everything matches. That's it.